Now to the coronavirus pandemic and the huge effort to vaccinate as many Americans as possible. The reported death toll has reached 399,000 in the U.S. and is almost certain to pass 400,000 later today. The latest CDC data shows less than half of all available vaccine doses have been given to patients. States are working hard to change that. Our lead national correspondent, David Begno, is in Lansing, Michigan. David, how's Mich Michigan's vaccination effort going? Anthony, they've used about half their vaccine so far. That's the vaccines that they have received. Sparrow Health System here in the Lansing area actually secured this old Sears Center. This is where you come to get your oil changed. But this morning, you just drive up and get a COVID test. They've already tested 100,000 people. And starting today, just this morning, what they did was they opened the two closest bays to where we are to start vaccinating people. First time they're doing it right here. This is what's happening all around the country. Hospital systems are finding whatever space they can find to get the job done. From amusement parks to arena parking lots, even livestock event centers, there are vaccine super sites popping up all over the country, wherever there's room. Cases and hospitalizations are on the decline nationally. But with more infectious variants spreading in at least 20 different states right now, don't expect cases to drop too low, warns infectious disease expert Michael Osterholm. This is what I think is extremely concerning and why this race we have between the virus and the variants and the vaccine administration right now is so critical. Getting the vaccine to underserved communities is also critical, and that is what Dr. Richard Bates is doing here in Michigan. Usually twice a week, Dr. Bates loads a cooler full of vaccines in his pickup truck, and he drives about two and a half hours north to a hospital in rural Alpena, where they're immediately administered. That's because the Alpena facility doesn't have the freezers that are needed to store the vials. So from the moment he drops them off, they have five days to use them. I needed to be there for the clinic. It's my community, and... I'll go. Bates is now a hospital administrator at MidMichigan Health. But before that, he was an OBGYN right here in Alpena. After delivering babies for more than 25 years, he says the joy of delivering vaccines is the same. And seeing the look on people's faces, just like I did when I handed off newborn babies, to, you know, a baby that was hope and dreams and all those sorts of things. So it's the same feeling. You know, there are still pockets of extreme spread around the country. Take California. They've had three million cases thus far. In California, uh, the L.A. area, they actually have their own variant. You've heard of the variant from the U.K. Well, L.A.'s got its own variant that is spreading like wildfire there. There are so many people dying just in Los Angeles County, Gail, that they actually relaxed their air quality restrictions so they could do more cremations than they're usually allowed to do. Oh, boy, David, I'm very sorry to hear that. Thank you very much.